up here. And we are dead. I wish I could do this too. Just be invisible and blast people with lightning strikes. I mean, I can do this, but I can't do this. I can, but I can't. Can't sleep here, still can't. Ooh, there we go. Guess we have to take another nap and then have Healing another buffing round. Gift. If only I didn't have to use it so often. What? Wait, what? What? Doesn't this mean you're doing a good job? Or is it? does it mean that people are just too reckless around you? I can see that being a thing. If I had a healer like that, I would be stupid. More stupid than I usually am. I crave for adventure. Alright. Make yourself small. Make her small. Be tiny. You can count on me. Mirror image. This one. How may I help? You are next. This. Right here, my friend. Electricity. Share your troubles. Miri takes that. Here. Or he does his spell. We manage a spell. Very impressive. Oh. The road calls me. What's I'll the take hold the up? Bait. What is it? <laughs> A massive amount of buffs done. Die, die, die. Ooh, ancient wool of wist. Ooh. Did I just press? They're quick at ruining my dog, huh? Oh, you are so close to death. With the attack. I died. He died. Uh, that's a no, no. Not stand that. The key incoming. Brody. I was not looking for that. Could have saved him. Alright, I used all my spells again, so... There's one more round of these wrists. I'm just going to be so mad. Oh, I did not use that. Please make this guy die. Oh, 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 I want to try if I can heal him. The wisp. Maybe it does damage. Like, it's, it's undead, right? What is this guy constantly doing? Going invisible during my spell cast. Now he's dead. Because distance. Now he's dead. Alright, we loot this later. I need to check this here first. Ooh, what is this? Rismal. Step, step, step. For my ma. Oh my god. A man stands in the center of the half, half ruins hall. He's motionless. His eyes are closed, hat tilted, as if he was listening to something inaudible. He's clad in tattered black and white robe. The mud and dust made his clothes look almost uniformly grey. Hearing your footstep, the man shudder and turns abruptly. 
The left part of his face is covered in blood and dirt. Seeing you, he gives a low groan in his throat. Trespassers, he spits on the ground. Are you so eager to die? Who are you? The man stares from at me at you for several moments. Then he suddenly grins and raises his eyebrow. In Mercury. Because why not? Who am I? Oh. Soon the whole world will know my name. The man strengthens and raises his hands to the sky. Two faced Rismal. Keep off the gates. Harboring of Nethels. I have my na I have many names, and you shall pay foul fealty to them all. The all seeing eye has brought me here, to the sanctuary of magic. Others came but they did not survive the trials. I am the only one who hears the word of Nathans and can open the gates for him. Then the all-seeing I will reward his chosen. I will become a lord in his new era. Rismal's eyes turn glass in dull as he keeps talking, and his speech becomes a stream of barely understandable words. It's impossible to distinguish which part of his rambling is true and which represents his delirious fantasy. Nevertheless, the man seems to lose interest in attacking you right now. An enchanted sanctuary gates to the other worlds. They are here. These runes. Silence, Rismal Rowers. Get too blind to see what surrounds you. Vibrant, bright, glorious to those who have embraced the arcane and marched at its palace. Rismal's voice drops and his eyes become unfocused. Nathan himself led me here. His voice rings in my head calling from the portal all these writings all these wandering lights only the blind cannot see the coming of all they all the all-seeing eye Christmas voice drops to a hiss so watch your tongue the moment nearest where I open the portals to let Nathans into the world fear my lord's wrath for there will be no escape for blasphemers irony or so the great Nathans is just beyond this portal yet the god of magic can't cross over on his own One more word, insect, he hisses, and you will witness it yourself. Let's assume Nethas waits beyond the portal. But what's beyond the portal, exactly? Rismund closes his eyes and takes a breath. Can you feel it? No, of course you can't. The old tower bears marks of his arcane. Look around. Can you see the writings? Since ancient times, believers knew a portal lay here. Though they left signs heralding the arrival of Nethans. Some say this place is cursed. Cursed? Rasmus bursts into historical laughter. Any fools can claim this place is cursed. On the contrary, this tower is port this tower, this portal. It's a true blessing for those who can ga grasp its greatness. What do the writings say? A shadow falls across Rismal's face. He stares at writing at the walls that shimmer with ghostly light. I'll find out, he mutters but to himself. When he comes when he shares his boundless wisdom with me, I will find out everything I want. When I wish roam the island, how did you get past them? When I wish done the Vera Flash, the feet on suffering and fear. The island is full of them. Since the time with the temple was sanctified with human blood. Besides, there was no fear in my heart, only joy and awe. Oh, I was to meet with my god and master. Enough about this place. Rizma grunts, but makes no response. Where are the others who came here? Who? Rishman ponders your words for a moment. Ah, you're talking about those who came to the island with me? They're gone. One of them gave up halfway here. I know nothing of his faith. The second? The miserable creature, he? Rishman closed his eyes as if fighting to control his temper. He kept talking. How knowledge knowledgeable must belong to everyone. Wisdom should be shared. What telling others about this place? He kept talking and talking. Rismal falls still for a moment, so I silenced him. Rismal, no matter if this land is cursed or not, you are not in your right mind. You don't know what you're doing. Rismal shuts his eyes and slowly opens them. How dare you? He hisses through the clenched, through clenched teeth. Nathan himself guides me. How dare you judge a chosen one of the all-seeing eye? Succeed a lower religion check. Nice. As you listen to Rismal, you can't stop frowning. Something's clearly not right. Not just with the man, but his words. Nathan's the mad deity of magic and wizardry. Never speaks directly his followers. His followers take pride in this, for their god is much too great to lower himself to such base form of expression. Whoever or whatever Rismal hid beyond the portal, 
It's not Nathan's. Listen to yourself. Nathan speak to me. Nathan has chosen me. You know your god that does not waste his time on mortals? How long are you going to lie to yourself claiming his voices in you in your heart belongs to Nathan's? I Christmas voice trembles. I but I just he words his eyes in full silence. I'm the chosen one. Christmas shakes his head. I knew it. Always the chosen one. <laughs> Different from the others. His voice falters. I found a corpse on the island. You know the one I spoke of? He perished in suf perished in suffering, terrified, cursing those who left him to die. What did he do to earn your cruelty? Christmas meets your gaze silently. The moment he frowns, then winces. Murray, I should have come back for you. As you look at him, Christmas' face changed. The obs obsessive gleam in his eyes gives way to astonishment and terror. He throws a hound to look at his surroundings, then touches his face and stares dully at the blood and dirt on his fingers. What what have I done? Great Nathans, what a nightmare is this? This can't be. I failed you. Misled by illusions. Darkness took my mind and I... I... Rismal utters a heartbreaking cry and buried his face in his hands. When he finally lifts his head, his eyes are full of tears. How can I turn for this? All I've done... His voice is a choked whisper. It's... It's not possible. Prisma blinks his tears away and turns to the portal, as if recalling it's still there. But the voice, the voice that urged me to open the gates, was silent for a moment. It still sounds inside my heart. It is not Nathas, no. No, it's not him. It's something else. The man turns back to you. I, I would never be able to repay you for your help, stranger. But I must ask you about one more thing. Will you help me confront the creature that waits beyond the portal? Are we able to open it and let this thing come to Galorian? We have to destroy it before it finds some new prey. Smith covers his eyes. When we're done with this, I will stay here and make sure no living soul ever falls a victim of this island. I will help you fight the monster, of course. Then I will begin the reach ritual now. Are you let me buff my you ass? Saving? I'm not afraid. But Duke Dazzle Flare. I have no spells. Are you joking me? I feel 